Good day learners! Today we are going to talk about piecewise function. So what is a piecewise function? It is a function built from pieces of different functions over different intervals. So ang piecewise function ay isang function na binubuo ng iba't ibang functions na mayroong iba't ibang intervals. So para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung piecewise function, let's look at their graphs. So this graph is an example of a piecewise function. Tingnan natin yung interval from 1 to negative infinity. So if yung x natin is 1 up to negative infinity, yung graph ng ating function is a parabola. Then if yung interval natin or yung x natin is from 1 up to 2, ang yung graph niya is a horizontal line. If yung x natin is from 2 up to positive infinity, yung graph niya ay isang line. So Ang piecewise function na to ay binubuo ng tatlong sub-functions. Itong parabola, itong horizontal line, at itong line. Now, let's look at another example. In this example, we have two different graphs. So, at the interval 1 up to negative infinity, the graph of the function is a horizontal line at negative 2. And... At the interval 1 to 3, the graph of a function is also a horizontal line at y is equal to 3. So this specific piecewise function is composed of two sub-functions. Itong horizontal line sa baba at itong horizontal line sa taas. Now, how do we express worded problems into a piecewise function? First, we need to know the notation of a piecewise function. So ano nga ba ang piecewise Function. So, ang piecewise function ay parang ganito. We have f of x. Yung x is yung input natin. Then, we have f of x is equal to formula 1 if interval 1, formula 2 if interval 2, formula 3 if interval 3. So, anong ibig sabihin ng formula 1, formula 2, formula 3 at itong mga intervals? So, itong mga intervals, ito yung... Dito mo malalaman kung anong formula yung gagamitin mo para makuha mo yung output. For example, yung x mo or yung input mo is on the interval 2. So, yung formula 2 yung gagamitin mo para makuha mo yung output. If yung uh, input mo is on interval 1, yung formula 1 naman yung gagamitin mo. If nasa interval 3, yung formula 3 naman yung gagamitin mo. Now, let's try some problems involving piecewise function. So, we have here our example number 1. A user is charged 650 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan, which includes 250 free text messages. Excess messages are charged 2 pesos each. Represent the amount a consumer pays as a function of the number of messages sent in a month. So, the first thing that we need to do is to Decide what variables are we going to use. Since we're talking about number of messages, we will let m be the number of messages sent and t of m be the total amount a consumer pays in a month. Then, let's analyze the problem. A user is charged 650 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan, which includes 250 free text messages. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, sa 650 pesos na babayaran mo, mayroon kang 250 na free text messages. So, mathematically, it would look like this. T of M is equal to 650 if M is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 250. So, ibig sabihin ng interval na M is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 250, ay ang M natin is between 0 to 250, including 250. So, if yung number of messages mo is between 0 to 250, kasali si 250, ang babayaran mo lang is 650 pesos. Now, let's try to find out kung ano yung uh, second formula at second interval natin. So, according to the problem, excess messages are charged 2 pesos each. So, ibig sabihin, for number of messages greater than 250, meron ka ng additional na babayaran. So, mathematically, ganito siya. 650 plus 2 times the quantity M minus 250 if M is greater than 250. So, yung interval natin is M is greater than 250. Uh, ang big sabihin nito, ito yung uh, excess messages. So, big sabihin, sumobra ka na sa 
250 kasi m is greater than 250. So if sumobra ka na sa 250, uh, hindi na 650 yung babayaran mo kasi nga mayroong additional na babayaran if mayroong excess messages. So magiging 650 plus 2 times the quantity m minus 250. Yung m minus 250, ito yung number of excess messages. For example, we have Uh, M is equal to 260. So, ibig sabihin, yung number of messages mo is 260. So, para makuha si excess messages, we just need to subtract 250. So, we have 260 minus 250, we have 10. So, we have 10 excess messages, and then we will multiply it to 2, kasi 2 pesos each yung excess messages. And then, we will add it sa 650 na binabayaran monthly. So, we have 650 plus 2 times the quantity M minus 250, if m is greater than 250. So, yung piecewise function natin is, ito na, t of m is equal to 650, if m is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 250, and 650 plus 2 times the quantity m minus 250, if m is greater than 250. And of course, don't forget to include m is an element of natural number, because we're talking about number of messages so there's no such thing as 1.5 messages 1.3 messages it is always in whole number so m should be an element of natural number now let's try example number two the cost of hiring a catering service to serve food for your party is 250 pesos per head for 30 persons or less 200 pesos per head for 31 to 65 persons and 100 pesos per head for 66 to 110 persons. For more than 110 persons, the cost is 75 pesos per head. Represent the total cost as a function of the number of attendees of the party. So again, we need to decide what variables are we going to use. So in this particular example, we will let H be the number of persons and C of H be the cost. Then we will analyze the problem. So according to the problem, 250 pesos per head is the cost for 30 persons or less, 200 pesos per head for 31 to 65, 100 pesos per head for 66 to 110, and 75 pesos per head for more than 110 persons. So all information that we need for our piecewise function is explicitly stated. So we just need to uh, translate these statements into mathematical expressions. And it would look like this. C of H is equal to 250H if H is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 30. So 250H kasi 250 pesos per head. Then yung interval niya is from 0 to 30. 30 persons or less is just the same. So H is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 30. Ibig sabihin nito, if yung number of persons is, for example, 10, ang babayaran mo is 250 times 10, which is 2,500. Now, let's move on to the next information that we have. So, it's 200 pesos per head for 31 to 65 persons. So, if yung number of persons is between 31 to 65, 200H yung babayaran. So, 200H if H is greater than or equal to 31 but less than or equal to 65. How about the next information? So, we have 100 pesos per head. So, 100H. Then, yung interval natin is 66 to 110. So, it will become H is greater than or equal to 66 but less than or equal to 110. Then, for the last, uh, if yung number of persons natin is greater than or more than 110, 75 pesos per head yung babayaran natin. So, 75H if H is greater than 110. So, ito na yung piecewise function natin. C of H is equal to 250H if H is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 30. 200H if H is greater than 31 but less than or equal to 65. 100H if H is greater than or equal to 66 but less than or equal to 110. Then, 75H if H is greater than 110. And then, again, don't forget to include H is an element of natural number. Kasi, uh, we're talking about number of persons. So, 
yung h natin should be always be in whole numbers like 5 7 8 9 kasi walang uh, 1.5 na persons diba so dapat h is an element of natural number Example number 3. A factory charges 50 pesos per bottle of milk for orders of 15 bottles or fewer. 30 pesos per bottle for orders of 45 or fewer but more than 15. And 20 pesos per bottle for orders greater than 45 bottles. How much will you pay if you will buy 35 bottles of milk? How much will you pay if you will buy 75 bottles of milk? And how much will you pay if you will buy 3 bottles of milk? milk to answer the following questions we need to find uh, the equation of, of our piecewise function first so to do that we need to decide what variables are we going to use so in this particular example we will let x be the number of bottles ordered and c of x be the total cost or the total amount now let's analyze the problem a factory charges 50 pesos per bottle of milk for orders of 15 bottles or fewer so big sabihin 50 pesos per bottle yung babayaran mo if yung number of bottles mo is from 0 to 15 or 15 pababa then 30 pesos per bottle for orders of 45 or fewer but more than 15 so ang ibig sabihin ng 45 or fewer but more than 15 is 15 hanggang 45 kasali si 45 pero si, si 15 hindi kasali so from 15 to 45 30 pesos per bottle yung babayaran then, 20 pesos per bottle for orders greater than 45. So, if yung number of bottles mo is greater than 45, 20 pesos per bottle yung cost. So, mathematically, magiging ganito siya. 50x, kasi yung x is yung number of bottles ordered, then yung 50 is yung cost na isang bottle. So, 50x... If yung interval natin, 0 to 15, so x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15. Then 30x if x is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 45. Then 20x if x is greater than 45. Now we have our uh, piecewise function. So we have this. Now let's try to answer uh, the following questions. So let's try letter a first so how much will you pay if you will buy 35 bottles of milk since we're buying 35 bottles of milk kailangan nating malaman kung saang uh, interval na belongs to 35 so let's examine our piecewise function so we have c of x is equal to 50x if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15 so big sabihin ng interval na uh, x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15 is if yung number of bottles mo daw is between 0 and 15 kasali si 15 ang um, babayaran mo is 50x so since si 35 hindi na belong sa interval na 0 to 15 so we will not use 50x how about 20x so we will use 20x if x is greater than 45 so 35 ba ay mas malaki kay 45 hindi so we, so we will not use 20x how about the second? So we have 30x if x is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 45. Since the 35 and I belong sa interval na 15 to 45, we will use 30x. So to solve for the cost, we have c of x is equal to 30x. Then c of 35 is equal to 30 times 35. We have 1,050 pesos. So if you will buy 35 bottles of milk, babayaran mo is 1,050 Okay, question letter B. How much will you pay if you will buy 75 bottles of milk? So same process, we need to determine kung saan interval na belongs si 75. So let's examine our piecewise function again. So we have c of x is equal to uh, 50x if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15. Since the 75 is not on the interval 0 to 15, uh, we will not use 50x. How about 30x? So 30x if x is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 45. C75 is not in between 15 and 45. So we will not use 30x. How about the last uh, formula? We have 20x if x is greater than 45. So since C75 is greater than 45, we will use the formula 20x. So 
we have c of x is equal to 20x then c of 75 is equal to 20 times 75 then it is equal to 1500 pesos so if you will buy 55 bottles of milk you will buy i mean you will pay 1500 pesos question letter c how much will you pay if you will order three bottles of milk so again same process we need to know kung saan interval na bilang si 3 so we have c of x is equal to 20x if x is greater than 45 is 3 greater than 45? No, so we will not use 20x. How about 30x? So we, we will use 30x if x is greater than 15 but less than or equal to 45. Since 3, uh, hindi kasali sa interval na 15 to 45, so we will not use 30x. How about 50x? So we will use 50x if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15. So, ibig sabihin nito, gagamitin natin si 50x if yung number of bottles natin is between 0 and 15. Since 3 is in between 0 and 15, we will use 50x. So, we have c of x is equal to 50x and c of 3 is equal to 50 times 3 and we have 150 pesos. So, if we will buy 3 bottles of milk, we need to pay 150 pesos. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, Every problem has a solution at kung mat ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang sir ninyo.